Okay. Thank you. So, so I, my name is Arnold Kaplan. I'm a professor of biology and um, uh, oncology and general medicine at Case Western Reserve University, beautiful downtown Cleveland. Um, the, I, I really apologize for not being able to be with you today. It's killing me not to do that. And that's uh, literally because I have horrible sciatica from a, a bulging disc. And uh, let me assure you, I'd, be rather, I, I'd rather be in Oz than s sitting home uh, trying to nurse uh, some, some substantial pain. But uh, next time, uh, I'll get, catch all of you when I come uh, down to Australia. I'm sure I'll do that uh, in the beginning of uh, next year. So, so let me tell you a little bit about my history. Um, I got my PhD at Johns Hopkins Hospital in uh, Baltimore and um, did a postdoctoral fellowship in Boston. And then um, 100 years ago, it feels like, it's only 45, um, I came to Cleveland to be an assistant professor at Case Western Reserve. And in the late 1980s, I started to isolate a rare uh, cell from bone marrow, which I named a mesenchymal stem cell. And in the subsequent years, we proved that that cell could differentiate into cartilage or bone or tendon or ligament or fat. And, and we worked on uh, various ways of tissue engineering, a uh, replacement tissue. And what we missed in that science was uh, to ask the question, where did the MSCs come from? And it now turns out, without giving you all the boring details, is that every single blood vessel in your body, in every single tissue, has cells which are sitting on your blood vessels. These cells um, are, are called perivascular cells, pericytes. And when that blood vessel is broken or inflamed, the pericyte comes off and it becomes a, a mesenchymal stem cell. And from the front of this pericyte, this MSC, this activated MSC, it produces a curtain of molecules that stop your overaggressive immune system from surveying the damaged tissue behind it. So it's a protector of the tissue from your immune system. And actually, this is these cells are the first line of defense against you setting up autoimmune reactions. And, and from the back of the MSC, uh, what happens is that they secrete a different uh, quantity and a different character of molecules, which actually help the tissue behind it, the injured tissue, to really regenerate itself. It stops scarring. It's, it increases uh, blood vessels. It, it stops cells to, uh, from dying because of lack of oxygen. And it actually enhances the tissue's natural capacity to regenerate itself. And this is the thing that we missed early on in, in the MSC technology. And actually, I've changed the name of the cells. <clears throat> I know you're not going to like my new name. But I've kept, because of my delicate ego, I've kept the name MSC, but I now call them medicinal signaling cells because what these cells are, are, are drug stores for sites of injury, natural drug stores. So, so it can be that, that a five-year-old gets a heart attack, but you would never know it because it has this, the kid has so much so many MSCs in the neighborhood that it actually protects the heart from damage and actually fixes the problem. Uh, and, and, and an old fart like me, actually, I don't have enough MSCs in the neighborhood. So if I get a heart attack, I need a booster shot. And that's the current technology. And there's two ways of delivering this technology. One is you take MSCs and you grow them up on a Petri dish and, and you get a gazillion of them, and you put them in the bloodstream, and they naturally go to sites of tissue damage. That's where they normally do business, and, and then they per, would protect my heart. The other is you can use your own cells in the minimalist way 
Um, and, and actually, that's what lipogems is all about. Lipogens, and, and the reason I'm uh, uh, so excited about supporting this technology is that lip, what, what Dr. Tremolata has, I'd like to say, stumbled on is just an absolutely brilliant mechanical way of taking those pericytes off blood vessels. And so he has this rig, and he'll show you how it's used and how simple it is. But in the end, what you harvest from liposuction material are 500 micron aggregates of adipocytes, fat cells, that are surrounding and protecting the MSCs which are hidden on the inside. So when you inject them into a joint or you inject them uh, in, in sub-Q, what happens is that these fat droplets protect the MSC that's on the inside, and then five or 10 days later, the MSC, because it's a migratory cell, it walks out of that, that cluster of uh, adipocytes and does its magic. And, and, and that's the amazing thing about uh, this preparation, which is that uh, Dr. Tremolato will tell you all the clinical experience he had with them. And, and some of it, frankly, the first time I heard it, sort of said, yeah, sure, I don't believe this. But, but once, you, once you hear the clinical outcomes um, and you think about extra MSCs, being deposited at sites of tissue regeneration, then you realize that what he has is something quite brilliant. And the brilliant part is um, it, it's liposuction material. I don't know a person in the room who wouldn't be able to donate a few ounces of fat uh, to improve their health status. And that's basically what happens. Even um, we've, we've taught even my orthopedic colleagues, my friends, to do a 25 ml a needle liposuction and to use the lipogens preparation, small preparation, and inject it into osteoarthritic knees. And, and, and I know firsthand, I mean, uh, I, I've had this done to my family members, I've had it done to myself. So, so you could say that I'm, I'm a, a, a clinical study of one, but as far as I'm concerned, this is the only clinical study I'm interested in. And so uh, I think that's, that will be the same for your patients. So again, um, um, I, I, I would love to talk science and tell you all of the most boring details that I could possibly find about MSCs. You know, I prefer you call them Kaplan cells, but I think I'm not going to get away with that. And the editors of uh, fancy journals won't let me do that. So you're going to have to stick with uh, MSCs and, and uh, lipogens for orthopedics, for cosmesis, for general medicine. I can tell you that MSCs are going to change the way medicine's practiced. And five years from now, 10 years from now, um, the medical students are going to have to learn what you're about to hear from Dr. Tremolata because this is going to be the wave of the future. Uh, certainly, I'm still working on uh, understanding the basic mechanisms by which the MSCs do business. But the first question I always get from the audience is, if you find out the molecules that are doing all of this, then why do we need the MSCs? And the reason you need the MSCs is getting one drug through the FDA is a nightmare. Getting two or three combination drugs through the FDA, impossible. All we need to do is get a cell approved, the MSC, it senses the microenvironment of the injury site, and it has the entire human genome at its disposal for picking out the drugs to cure the problem. And I'll tell you one mind, to end, I'll tell you one mind blower, that none of us expected. MSCs produce a protein antibiotic called LL37, which kills bacteria on contact. So even if your technique isn't as sterile as it should be, once those MSCs walk out of those uh, uh, adipocyte aggregates, 
they bump into a bacterial particle. That particle triggers the synthesis of LL37. And as a matter of fact, uh, we're just going to start in Cleveland a clinical trial with cystic fibrosis patients who are hugely compromised in terms of lung infections. And in this case, uh, they're actually going to get their lung infections, particularly Pseudomonas aerogenes, which is lethal to these cystic fibrosis kids. Um, we have animal data that says the MSCs can kill those bacteria. And indeed, um, if you go to clinicaltrials.gov, a website, you'll find today that there are 426 different clinical trials now in play using MSCs, and it's MS, ALS, muscular dystrophy, um, huge array of diseases, and those diseases have two common features for each of them. They have an immu immunological component, and they have a regenerative component. So that's what the MSCs do, that's what they do naturally, and so the trick is how can physicians figure out how to get old guys like me, a couple of extra MSCs into the regenerative field uh, to do their business because I don't have enough, and I would say every member of this audience, you're well past the time when you're self-sufficient, and so uh, keep your ears open um, as I said, MSCs are going to change the way medicines practice. Uh, again, sorry I'm not with you. My apologies. And, and, and I'll let Dr. Tremolata and his colleagues uh, uh, do the talking. Thank you.